Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Thank you so much for coming. You are welcome to my channel. Today guys, I'm going to show you how to get quick answers. No matter your problem, be it financial, be it marital. Do you want to get married? Do you need a life partner? Do you need a child? Do you have problem in your marriage? Do you need money? Whatever you need. Whatever you need, or do you want admission in a university? Whatever you want, you want a job, you want your business growth, you are going to do this. This is a powerful way to grow up and to get your heart desire. Before we continue, you are welcome to my channel. Try to subscribe. In here, I share with you powerful spiritual tips that will help you greatly. So try to subscribe to join us and turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload new videos, you come and watch and be richly blessed in Jesus' name. Amen. So let's dive in. Now, whatever problem you have, anything you have been asking God for, anything you have been worried about, anything you need urgently, this is how to get it. See, if you have prayed for a problem, for a long time if you have prayed over that difficult situation for a long time if you have an outstanding issue in your life something you pray to achieve something you pray to get something you have always yearned in your life to attract this is what you will do because I know people who actually believe that God does not answer prayers they believe that God does not help people when you pray and pray, he does not answer. Do you really believe God exists? Do you even believe God exists? Or do you always pray to God as a routine? Let me just do it so that they will not say that eh, I don't pray to God. If you take God's issue as just a routine, nothing will happen in your life. But if you take God's issue as a means of survivor, survivor of the fittest, you will see things happening in your life. God is not just a routine. He's a means of survival. You cannot survive without God. So that is why many of us, we do not have quick answers. We pray and pray, yet no answer. Number one, when we are praying, we feel sad. Why are you still sad? Why do you still feel bad when you are praying to God? When you know that God would answer you. When you know that God is capable. That shows unbelief. And God does not answer faithless prayer. Number two, why do you pray to God and your mind is not there? There are people, when they are praying to God, their mind is somewhere else. They are just saying those things, but it is not from their heart. When your heart is not in that prayer, you are praying to God, your mind is on how you will cook, how you will do this. Why not face the most important? If you die today, that thing you are always thinking about, worried about, can you do those things? This is ember period, my people. Try to be serious. People are dying. The devil, the devil is at work this period. Accident everywhere. So you better pray for protection. You better pray for provision. You better pray for breakthrough in your life. Christmas is coming. Things are getting very expensive. Can you afford any? But no matter how expensive these things are, people will still buy them. People are still capable. People still live in luxury. Don't think because you are poor, things are difficult for you. Everybody is like you. Do not comfort yourself like this. There are people living in luxury. If you can hold God, when others are toiling, you will be rejoicing. I hope you understand. So take God seriously. So if you have a problem or you have something you need urgently, something that is bothering you, you are going to do this. You are going to pray a prayer of thanksgiving. Okay? I know that that problem is pressing. And you have always prayed for it and yet no answer. Then leave that request and thank God. Have you ever tried that? After praying and praying and praying and praying, yet no answer. After doing everything possible to get answers to your prayers, to solve that problem, to get that money, yet no result. Leave that problem and praise God. That is a quick means to attract blessing. Praise God. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I know you can do it. Able God, praise God to that request. 
How do you do that? Any time of the day you are free, go on your knees and begin to praise God. God in heaven, I know that you can give me money. God in heaven, the supplier of all we want, the greatest God, the richest God, begin to praise God. So if what you want is wet, praise God towards that wet. Lord in heaven, thank you so much for all you have done. I know that you are a mighty God, the Lord that blesses with no sorrow attached. The Lord that made me very rich. The Lord that blessed me a lot with all I ever desired. Now, you are not rich, but you are praying to get rich. Then thank God for making you rich. Have you ever seen that? Have you ever tried that? Try it. Try it and come for testimony. Try it and come. If you need money, thank God for giving you the money. Let God know that you believe that he has done it. When you always have it in mind that God has done it, you will get it physically. At times when we pray, that request has been granted. God has already released that request in the spirit realms. Just that you are faithless. You need faith to pull that thing down to your physical realm. So that thing you are praying for, you have gotten it. God has already given it to you spiritually. So you need your faith to claim it into existence physically. So whenever you are praying, that thing you have been praying for, for a long time, you need to claim it. Thank God for giving you that thing. By so doing, you are claiming that thing into existence. And you will see the manifestation. You will manifest your glory. That is it. So if you want a good life partner, you want to get married, thank you, Lord, for giving me a good husband. Thank you, Lord, for giving me a good wife. Thank you, Lord, for giving me a comfortable, good partner. Thank you, Lord, for attracting rich people to bless me. Thank you, Lord, for your healing. You have healed me from this sickness. I'm healed in the name of Jesus. Even if you are still sick, even if you are still struggling with that problem, begin to thank God for it. See, thank God over every situation. Thank God over every difficulty. Thank God over every mess. Out of every mess, there is a message. God is trying to pass a message to you, even through that mess, that he can do it. From every mess, there is a message. So always thank God over that thing to claim it into existence. If you want a good job, thank God for that job. Stop asking and asking. Thank God for that job. If you want a child, thank God. That you are pregnant already, even though you are not pregnant. See, drastic faith, only drastic faith can bring quick answers. Let me just tell you the truth. Only drastic faith can bring quick answers. When your faith is drastic, you will be able to pull that thing from the spiritual realm to physical existence. So if you are faithless, you better start building your faith if you want to get answers. If you want to get open doors, if you want to succeed, if you want God to look at you and try to help you, you need to have faith. Whatever your problem is, thank God over that problem. And I will show you a scripture that would actually aid you to thank God a lot. And this is Psalm 100. So what you do, anytime you are praying for that request, you go on your knees. First of all, ask God for forgiveness. Secondly, read Psalm 100. The whole of Psalm 100, that is a prayer of thanksgiving. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people. Enter into the gates with thanksgiving. Read the whole of what? Psalm 100. And begin to thank God over that situation. Begin to thank God. Begin to thank God. Thank God more. Thank God more. And you will see your answers. God will answer you. Your road will be open. God will bless you abundantly. And everything you ever desire, God will give you double, double. You want a child, you have twins. You want money for rent, God will give you money to build your house. The Lord is good. That is it. You want business growth, you will have companies. You want a good job. In fact, you will be a boss. God will bless you to establish your company and employ people. God is double-double. That is why we call him Jehovah Overdue. He overdue his miracles. And he will do it and stand for you in the name of Jesus. Amen.